in particular, uh, as architects of large buildings primarily, we're very interested in the interaction, the visual and functional interaction of what happens inside and on the building surface with the city around it. This sort of uh, curved nesting of, of wave-like forms is very much, it evokes very much the water, the marine world, uh, what lies beyond, forms that we can associate with the ocean, I think is very meaningful. So it's almost as if the land meets the water, if you will, and we're hoping that, that this tower, as it emerges from the ground, and a tower across the street. We designed this building kind of outside in. Normally, normally architects do inside out for the, a lot of residential building for residential developer, because a lot of their sales price and value comes from their interior layout and finish level. But this case, it was uh, one of the landmark, very important building for the city. As you look at the building from different points of view, you might be walking through the city or you might see the building from one point of view in one part of your day, move to another part of town and see from another angle, or you might be driving uh, along a coastal highway. And as you do this, um, the building changes its, its feeling. It, it's not, it surprises you. And I think that's something exciting in a building, especially a building which has such a powerful location and that can stand to be a sort of a, a landmark. From design point of view, the one thing we count is the purity. And that means our founder, Bill Patterson, was, have, uh, he had a little bit of background on the sculpture side. So if you look at some of, uh, most of Cape Fifth building, we always try to keep our sculptural value on our building. Here, the Pacific is expansive, biggest ocean in the world. So we wanted that glass to be floor to ceiling glass so that when you're sitting in your chair, or dining table, or couch, or walking through the apartment, that you could see the coast, that you'd see the sky, you could see the full range of uh, the visual environment. But it's very important that for us, both from the inside of the building and the outside, that you not see this as a broken set of angled fragments. You don't want to sit inside your apartment with a view of the Pacific and then have it constricted down to a small opening. But what makes it unique is what you see from inside that space of the outside world, which here is a fabulous 360-degree set of opportunities.